got him. Oh, and that's the final straw. That's the final straw after 12 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, good game, and welcome back. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch the channel, everyone. Your support is so appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Smash that like button while we're here. And uh, this is Chomp Chomp Volume 5, a deck that I've been working on for a while. Abzan Removal or Control. Uh, we got so many nice new cards. Fracture, Vanishing Burst, Professor Onyx, just to name a few. So, you know, the deck is performing really nicely in Mythic, and uh, it's just a lot of fun to play, especially if you love Removal Tribal, because this is going to eliminate every single aggro deck uh, that you could possibly imagine. So, uh, in today's video, you know, we'll break it down like we always do, giving you guys a good idea whether or not the deck's right for you and your wild cards, and then, you know, uh, showing you the gameplay footage and talking about the deck to wrap up this and that this and that if you didn't hear unshaven leg won themselves a holographic skull and tarns mint condition 160 usd value and our next winner is going to get an entire standard uh current standard set so the last set in standard uh rare playset which is pretty cool that's like 400 dollars uh, in gems as well so get in on that join the channel uh, and the community we're happy to have you so everything that you can be looking for today is found in the link tree link, um, you know, whether you want to support the channel or get in on some of the giveaways. So Google for that or it's in the description below and let's break it down. Ayo, Chomp Chomp version 5.0, 60 card standard, 3.6 average, 33 non-creatures with three creatures and that's how you know it's good it's all those threes um you know it's primarily a black deck with a spice of white and uh, a pinch of green on the side 24 land with some mdfc's taking us up to 26 i believe with uh, amiria's call as far as new cards professor onyx this card is so good you all are aware of it it's been in every single deck i've showcased recently uh five loyalty magecraft whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery opponent loses two life and you gain two life Plus one, you lose one life, then look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, and the rest into your graveyard, which is pretty interesting. And minus three, each opponent sacrifices a creature uh, with the greatest power among creatures that that player controls. And minus eight, each opponent discards a card. If they don't, they lose three life. Repeat this process six more times, um, which is basically lethal. So that's really cool, right? Uh, this is our win con. You know, we get this out last second, and we just, you know, use it to draw more removal and eventually we can use our ultimate ability which is quite nice we have two copies of fracture in deck instant speed for two destroy target artifact enchantment or planeswalker which is quite nice so really uh good utility wise there it kind of covers uh quite a few things under its umbrella four copies of vanishing verse also for two at instant speed to xl target mono colored permanent uh this is just an absolute heater whether it's the great hand or cleave uh you know creatures you can get it all with vanishing verse which is pretty cool that's all we have for new cards, sadly. Uh, you know, we do have the Necro Blossom Snarls in deck. Uh, very easy to play because of the Triumphs and uh, our basic land here as well. Filling up the gaps, we've got things like Heartless Act, Instant Speed for 2, Destroy Target uh, Creature, basically, as long as it doesn't have counters on it, or remove 3 counters from a creature. 2 copies of the Tome, Scry 1, or draw a card every time you do either. Uh, you know, put a page counter on it, you can only do 4 of them, then you gain 4 life. Mythos of Nethroi, you know, destroying anything that you want that's non-land, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we do have uh, Polycaranos as well. It's a 6-6, six, six, and then it's going to be a 12-12 when it escapes. Uh, you can use the ability to fight other creatures, which is nice, for 3 mana. Um, so that's quite interesting. Four copies of Binding of the Old Gods. Destroy target non-land permanent and opponent controls. Grab a forest from our library, and then give our creatures death touch, which is irrelevant in the deck. A field wipe with an extinction event. Choose otter even, then exile the chosen. Three copies of Baleful Mastery. Oh, this is a new card I forgot about. I actually really like this. Instant Speed for four, XL Target Creature or Planeswalker. You can take it out on Student Loan for two mana, but if you do, your opponent will get to draw. Um, but Instant Speed, XL, is great. Another Field Wipe within Shadow's Verdict. Uh, three or less creatures and Planeswalkers from the field and the graveyards. Uh, and then, you know, Vornclex here is going to double all of our counters that we do and half the counters that our opponent does. Uh, you know, doubling... Paul Kranos, doubling our Maze Mind Tome, doubling Binding of the Old Gods, Binding uh, Professor Onyx, and of course Garrick, which is a 5 loyalty, 0 ability to create 2, 2-2 two, two black and green 
wolves, and whenever they die, you'll put a loyal county, uh, loyalty counter on each character you control. Minus three, destroy target creature, draw a card, and minus six, you get an emblem with creatures you control, get plus three, plus three, and have trample. That's irrelevant. Uh, the minus three is really nice, and the zero uh, ability is quite considerate as well, especially to your opponents, right? Um, you know, two copies of Amiria's Call as well to make the two four four angels, giving everything else indestructible basically irrelevant uh, but the angels are nice and the land is fine too if it's in our opening hand so that's the deck you know uh, we can pull the triumphs with binding of the old gods to start out with to make sure that we have nice mana at this point uh, once we do have our mana kind of sorted let's just pull regular forests so when we draw the triumphs we can cycle them to draw another removal spell right that's going to be a key part uh, of our rotation here that's it. <laughs> uh, I really like uh, Polygranos because it can dodge Shadow's Verdict, right? So you can play a big body and then play Shadow's Verdict and then attack with your 6-6. Six, six. This is a really nice play if you're looking to put in some damage on your opponent, of course. Um, and then, of course, you know, Vornclex, the Angels, and then the Wolves are going to be all that we have uh, to deal that damage late game plus the magecraft ability of professor onyx so you know there is a combination of things that do slowly all work together to accomplish uh, our goal and the majority of it is just removal 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 uh field control field control field control um it's basically all at instant speed except for the field wipes which is really really nice right uh you know heartless act fracture vanishing verse all instant speed mythos instant speed baleful mastery instant speed um so it's just shadows verdict extinction event and binding of the old gods removal wise that's not instant speed so you can really uh play on your opponent's turn the majority of the time which is quite nice uh and then like i said you know you've got the creatures uh and the planeswalkers to deal that uh, lethal bit of damage so again thanks for your support on the channel i really appreciate you guys check out the link tree link if you haven't yet it's got all the goodies in there for you to snoop about whether it be the contests, giveaways, tournaments, um, you know, supporting the channel financially, it's all, it's all there. So uh, thanks again. I hope you all have a magical day. Enjoy today's gameplay footage, and we'll be back soon to wrap up with my final thoughts. Oh, all right, you guys. New day, new deck. Feeling confident that we can do all right today. Playing with a more competitive mindset, uh, at least a little bit here. Lots of removal. Lots and lots of removal. Right? Every deck, Shadow's Verdict. <laughs> oh, gosh. Stop it. You'll see why right there, yeah? We have no play on it. I mean, we have double exile in hand, triple exile, really, plus removal, so I think we can be, uh, you know, slow as well. Did they stomp us here? No? Okay. King of the Nerds. Boros, you know, Venerable Warsinger, all these things are GG's right now. Blade Historian, there's a lot of good stuff going on. Let's just exile that. The dog's more annoying than the Spellbinder, in my opinion. We ramp fast, it's a effect, right? Taxation is only uh, a real problem for the poor. <laughs> what did he say? It's true, though. I wouldn't mind just scooping it now, but we can wait. I doubt they have protection, and if they do, I wouldn't mind burning it from their hand. And that way we get to see if they drop any other threats. Or lands, I mean... Could be Winota. A spellbinder's a human. Could be a blade historian.
Let's just nuke it. Another. They see verdict and just like put their head down. Oh. <laughs> it's my favorite card. We'll snag that binder. And we're ramping. Pulling out a triome. Lieutenant's nice. The exile's gonna come in really handy there. Right, because this is when it, uh... Or is it when it leaves the battlefield? No, it's just when it dies. Pulling a Garrick's pretty cool. We can play that next turn. We exile Basri because the CMC is higher than three. It's also a... Uh, was it a four or five? It's a four, yeah, so even and odd. Keeping the land in hand here. It's to the point where I'd rather cast a Miria's Call than play another land. Yaz. Garrick goes burr. Do they have a Bone Crusher Giant? We get the draw even if they do uh, remove Garrick here. And that pulls a removal from them as well. Yeah. More removal. More removal. You know, we love to see it. We love to see it. They're giant. A giant. <laughs> oh, that's a big boy. Tome and play past our turn. We can activate our Castle Ardenville to chump block here. Ooh, maybe we won't. Did they have protection? Who knows? We roast Winota. Get hit for four. Take our draw. Professor learns. That's neat. What did they take? Token generation? Like the elemental token? Negative. Let's just clean it up. They're top decking. They do have a draw scry, which is a, a jump start. Ooh. Basri's lieutenant off the top. That's hot. Ha! Oh, protection from multicolor. No! Whoa, 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 was that Z, 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 Z? Are you kidding me? I misclicked the hell out of that. I wanted angels. Or it's because I drug it up to the top and my mouse double clicked. Oops. Oh my god. Oh my god. Does that ever happen to you guys? It's like you drag it up to cast it and just because you didn't drag it right to the middle or double click on it from your hand, it like decides for you based on where you dropped it because your mouse is like way too sensitive. All the time here. Take the block. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we are talented. Let's take the draw too. Hey, that'll fix it all up for us, right? A little boo boo gets healed. <laughs> A 
four drop and a three drop though. Now that's annoying, might. So we nuke this freaking thing. All right, that gets our cost reduction away. And then we can hit evens. And we can either remove or draw. They're holding on. Are you freaking kidding me with this Basri's Lieutenant? That's their third one. Protection from multicolor is annoying. So good. Look at this exile. <laughs> Whoa. If they have a stomp, I mean... Oh, I... Okay. I was like, did I not block? I don't know, I might need the castle again. This opponent's just got a god draw going on. Very hard to compete with. Oh my gosh. It does help. Artifact enchantment or planeswalker? I really just don't think so. And Basri's a human, so Winota's not going to trigger. Unless they have non human haste. No way. Okay. What do they have? A stomp and they just want to kill Vornclex? That's unpleasant for us. Those freaking tomes are so good though, right? It's not removal, let's just get closer to removal. Well, blessed our land total. <laughs> That's Professor Onyx to you. We'll kill Anoda. Take the Magecraft. We gotta kill it. Alright, then we don't take the damage from the Bone Crusher Giant. We're managing our health really nicely. They get L said, they kill Onyx. But we manage the field like no other. Good game. Right, just like slow down the Winota deck. Remove everything. 
Woof. We almost punted that one, too. <laughs> Going first land looks nice with a tome. Wow. That's, like, actually really good. Let's see how it pays out for us. Oh, mono red. Mono red. Why do this? We have removal, we have an event, and we have exile for annex. Yes. Do they boulder rush us? Our removal's not bad. It's the kind of removal we can use this turn. I think I just take it and then exile them all with the event, right? They're all odds. Let's just take the draw. Okay, so they don't have a Faceless Haven in play, so we might get this. We do have more removal, more exile. We have a kill for the cleave. Uh, two of them, actually. This needs to get exiled. If we go one for one, that's fine. Let's see if they sink their mana into it. That's good. Ooh. Let's get rid of the robber. Take a draw. Right, it's the even. So we're looking for another event on odds or something like this. <laughs> Where's all our freaking land at? You know what I mean? I think that's our best bet as a Baleful Mastery here. Let's just eat it. At least we get a land. Pass our turn. We're good. We're going to Vanishing versus the Phoenix. Heartless Axe, the Rimrock. We're holding on. We need more, but we're holding on. Where is the land? <laughs> that would have been a good time to drop it. Make a couple wolves against Mono Red. That would have been sick.
Keeping our exile and stuff for later. Tome is nice. Oh. Take care of that. I guess we could have went to combat first, because now they can play another haste creature. So that's a little bit of a misplay there. But it doesn't look like they have one anyways. Let's take the scry first, six land. They're looking at all of our cards like, holy kid. Well, it's kind of a land. Oh! Bone Daddy, down to 11. Let's take the draw. We can nuke the giant without paying life. It does expose Garrick, but who cares? We get to draw a card, and that's more value than anything. That's what it's all about, baby! You messed with the wrong more removal. <laughs> yeah, Chomp Chomp Volume 5. Another knight. Scry it up. That's good. More removal. Let's take care of it with binding. We hold up our draw. Take it up. Gain four life. Back to 15. Oh, gosh. Would you look at that? More removal. <laughs> I think we have some card advantage now. That's a creature. Now it's not. <laughs> we don't even use Ugin, right? We just exile Ugins when they're played against us. Right? We try to be as classy as we can. I'm going to cycle these other Triomes if I draw them. So I'm not going to pull them with the Binding anymore. Because our mana is totally fixed. We can cast whatever we want. They're going to like this. <laughs> Card cast a cleave only to get it blasted. Pretty rude boy. Now let's see what we draw first. I don't want to target it, you know what I mean? I don't want to take that damage. <laughs> Torbran! It just never stops. <laughs> yeah, we tossed Onyx to the bottom at one point because I didn't have the land to cast her. I don't really want to... Exile that. I want to save these exiles. They're important. Uh, maybe we should have once they snuck their mana into it. Oh well. Frickin' land. You're not a removal spell. Get out of my hand. They're really putting in the work here. I love it. Oh, Tome is BM. Tome is such BMs. 
Bad manners. Who does that? Get your kid out of the store, lady. <laughs> I like to draw. Good content, right? I'll remove everything here. Not scared of it, bro. Got him. <laughs> oh my gosh. If we had a daily quest to complete that was like, remove 10 billion creatures, we'd have gotten it done. Complete. More removal, perfect. Instant speed removal too is just like amazing. Let's pass it up. I can't believe they just keep stomping the heck out of us. There's a win con. There's a win con. And see how this game will cast the one we want. <laughs> Instead of playing it as a land. Let's grab a draw as well, why not? For life. You call it r removal tribal or even land tribal. You jerk. Well, we're just gonna nuke it. Got him. Oh, and that's the final straw. That's the final straw after 12 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Going first with a tome. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Coco saying 91. I'm a 91 as well. I'm thinking like Coco Puffs. <laughs> Our collected company. I mean, Coco Puffs are collected company. They're both pretty good, right? <laughs> Hello. Yeah, it is. Tome and play, pass our turn. Rogues. Big boy rogues, too. That might be good, it might be bad. If they're rogues, it's great. If they're a control deck, it's dog shit. We just uh, go one for one. I don't mind casting on my end step. Looking for a fourth land here. Hey, it'll do. We have removal, we have draw. Looking for more removal. Pass our turn. Let's see what they do here. Instant speed is really nice. Whoa! They like basically skipped a turn. Interesting. I'll take a draw. Four life as well. Up to 24 now. Pass our turn. More removal. I think they're going to try to always hold up counter magic. <laughs> uh, 
Oh yeah, look at these heartless acts, baby. You know it's a good card when you get three and you just like start giggling. They're not playing anything. I'm full up on removal now. <laughs> and then they enter the story. They're just going full combo or what? Like, I can have a lot of cards in hand, too. Look at that. Nine cards in hand. I have seven. What if they Seagate? Could you imagine a Seagate right here on their behalf? Wow. That would be insane. Hopefully we draw land. Nice. I like to keep my hand perfectly full. <laughs> Seven cards in hand? It's the only way. Shout out to our opponent for letting me get rid of some of those cards in my hand. I'll keep doing it. <laughs> All right, their turn. That's our turn. <laughs> Rogues cannot stand when you don't play on your own turn. When you start playing on their turn, they just like are, ah, I hate it. <laughs> Pass it up. Hey, we're going to the distance with them. What if we outmill the rogue deck without any mill cards? You know what I mean? That's a good card. But we know they've got counter magic. Really? It just it calls for it. I'm not going to discard something. They can counter it. Maybe. Uh, you know, it's not a drown in the lock by any means, but they have, didn't say please, you know, saw it coming, stuff like this. Negate. Uh, you know. Wow, it resolves. So they're just going to use removal, I guess. Right, because drown in the lock can't counter it, but drown in the lock can kill the tokens. Maybe. It's a lot of life to gain, yo. But who cares? You know what I mean? Let's just play a binding, right? We're at 38, they're at 37. Nice. Wow. 35 life. That's incredible. <laughs> that is a lot of life. Taking forest so we can cycle triomes. One rogue doesn't matter. It's 
this new kid, who cares? Leaving our triumphs so we can cycle them. I mean, I've never gone this long with a rogue deck before. This is like a serious throwdown. They have so much patience. Why won't they just feed into my removal machine? Feed me! <laughs> I mean, technically, they're, we'd mail ourselves out first. We're at 29, they're at 31. So if they're playing the super long con, they do have pace. Right, they're beating us there. And that's actually a pretty big mail. And these are already on the stack. Right, that's actually really bad for us. That male beats us for sure. Don't the care. <laughs> I guess we could have left it and binding it. It's a lot of counter spells. I wouldn't doubt if they had another. The cards are falling. They do. Shit. <laughs> Dang it! Did we do it, Dad? No, because we're down to 19 or 30. Woof. Friggin' rogues. Maybe they just burned all their counter and removal. No, of course not. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. At this point, we could use Blood on the Snow, like our own recursion. Typically, I don't fight rogue decks like this. Okay, okay, okay. I can get behind that. Even if we're recasting it from the grave, that's nice. Through the escape. And if they can't remove it, it hits them down pretty quick. Oh, the exile. You jerk. I'm gonna try to kill it myself. Just so it doesn't get exiled. It's valuable to me at this point. I need something. Right? Let's try it again with this one. It lands. Interesting. Yeah, I can just like fight that. We 
We're 13 at 27. They have four in hand. Let's just keep piling on the heat. They gain so much freaking life, though. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. Ten left. I don't know. They're probably just going to mill us out. Don't mind. Yeah, they do. Catching up, catching up. They're 22 or at 10. They need to do that like four more times. <laughs> Five, six. All right, let's get the big boy in. They counter and we just replay them. They've got Baleful Mastery just like I do, though. That's got to be their last round in the log. Alright, do we get it again? Oh, another into the story. Wow. That's incredible. They're down to 18 or at 9. All right. We've lethal in three, potentially. I doubt it, though. <laughs> yeah, can't kill him with damage. I guess I'll mill him. Oh, I guess we could have just fought that instead. My bad. We should have fought that instead. Because Poke Rano nullifies the Death Touch. Good there. And then we could have had Vanishing Verse potentially up as well. With the fight and it. That double there. Okay. I can exile the heck out of that and hit for 12. Counter it, I play Amiria's Call, and then I fight. Wow. At least we get the counter out. That lifelink sucks a big one, though. Come on! You gotta be out of counters at some point. I guess we still remove our counters, but it's worth it. Just get out of here. Just get out of here, bro. If they play a rogue, we can fight it. A th another end of the story. Wowzers! Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Sarasan is gonna get chomped up! Chomp, chomp, chomp! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We have three cards in library. They just mill us out here. This is a good game. Right, there's no way they don't mill us here. Yeah, they know it. Good game. <sighs> Whatever, man. And then Zara's 10 on top. Well, I mean, we did our best, right? We done did our best. We got him down to 12 cards. I think I'm going to scry and see if there's a good draw there. Ah! That's just what I wanted. And now I'm going to make sure I draw that card because it was extra good. <laughs> Freaking rogues! Good game. Woof, woof, woof.
How about these matches? We had some really good matches today with this deck. Um, that Rogue match, though, I have a headache from playing it, but it was a good match of Magic. Like, I hate Rogues, but that was still a good match. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Win, lose. Um, it's all here on the channel. I hope you enjoy trying to showcase some new decks for you guys every day. That's just the main goal, right? Um, it does hurt to lose. It's much more enjoyable to win and be able to brag. 100% win rate, one five in a row. And, uh, you know, the video does better this way. But, uh, you know, it's just, it's not about winning and being best every single day. So it's, uh, it's the long term, right? We do two videos a day and, uh, you know, it's been two years. We've got two more years plus ahead of us. Um, about 423 days until 100,000 subs. So it's it's a uh, it's a long road, not a not a short sprint. So you know, taking a look at some of the decks uh, that I like, you know what I mean. And this is one of them that I've always come back to. I've got really good luck with it. Uh, today we kind of got punished. We didn't pull our shadows verdict against the rogue player, uh, which is crazy. We went through our whole deck. They milled it out, I guess. Um, but that shadows verdict should have won us the game, and then they wouldn't have been able to pull all the creatures back. But whatever in another match we would have won right in a rematch maybe we would have won and uh you know that's one of the things that makes best of one so special is that it gives any deck the chance to win even if you have an inherent disadvantage uh you can still you can still win right we didn't get our shadows verdict and they still won right um but it's cool i had fun let me know what you guys thought of the video in the comments below thank you so much for your time and attention have a magical day and we'll see you soon in the next